Welcome. In today's video, I just want to show you how to search recorded footage or playback recorded footage using the Freedom VMS software, video management software. Okay, I'll get straight to it and then I'll go into a bit more detail. So currently I'm in what's called Live View of Freedom. Now it's in currently in the lock state. I know this by looking down the bottom here. The uh, padlock symbol is uh, red. So that means it's in a lock state. If I click somewhere, it will prompt me to log in, which I'll do. Okay, now to search for footage or to download footage, we need to go in what's called the playback uh, section of Freedom. And we navigate there by clicking on the green button down the bottom right of the interface. There's this green button here. So I'll click that. And now we're in the playback section of Freedom. Now I'll quickly go over how to uh, select cameras using EMAPS and navigate to a different time and I'll also show you how to select cameras without EMAPS and navigate to a different time then I'll go into more detail. Okay I've got my EMAP window open on the right monitor in my case. Now to select cameras it's simply a matter of dragging the camera icon over to one of the tiles. So I'll drag one of these red camera numbers over to one of the tiles and I'll drag another one over here and I can also drag one of the blue directional icons if you have one of those. And I'll drag 235 over as well. Now by default they start playing at 12am on the current date. Now if I did want to select a different date other than today, I could click the select date button up here. And navigate to a different uh, date by clicking on one of these uh, days here. Green indicates there is uh, footage and red indicates the currently uh, current day that you're playing back. So if I wanted to play back from uh, the 23rd, I'd simply click on the 23rd and it will open that uh, the cameras on the 23rd. Now if I wanted to navigate to a different time within the currently selected date, I'd simply move the mouse cursor down the bottom here to what's known as a timeline. And let's say I wanted to go to 9am, I'd position the mouse cursor under the 9am and double click and the cameras will start playing at approximately 9am. I can also go to an exact time by clicking on this time button here and I can put in the, an exact uh, time if I wish. Okay now I'll go over how to select cameras if you don't have EMAPS at your site. It's simply a matter of ticking uh, the cameras that you want to play back. So here I've got my device list up here. So if it wasn't expanded I'll click on the plus and then you tick the cameras that you want. So up to four cameras can be ticked. So let's say I want that one, that one, uh, that one and that one. So the four are ticked. Now if I want to play back uh, footage from today, the current uh, day today, I just click on search and search selected date. By default that will be today. If I wanted to select another date, I could either go search again, click on search and say search time period and enter a specific date. Or conversely, I could click on the selected date up here and go to another date that has uh, the green indicating there is footage and just clicking on that will navigate to that date as well and as before if we wanted to uh, navigate to a different time within the day we could uh, with the mouse cursor just double click just under the time we want to uh, navigate to on the timeline down here let's say this around 3 p.m. and double click and that will navigate to that time and again, you can click on the uh, time indicator here and go to the exact time as well. Now, if you wanted to zoom into a particular tile, you double click on the tile to make it a single larger tile. And if you wanted to zoom into a particular area, you drag a box around the area you want to zoom into, starting from the top left to the bottom right. And that will zoom into that area. And I can use this uh, uh, control down here to drag around the zoomed area while I'm in a zoomed position. To return to zoom, I can either use the mouse wheel to zoom out, or I can right click and select reset digital zoom. So again, you can use the mouse wheel to zoom in and out, or just draw a box around something. Now, if you wanna take a snapshot picture of any of the uh, um, video currently playing, you simply click on the snapshot button down here. So if I click on that, that has taken a picture of all the um, all the currently playing frames and to view that picture you just click on the search here and view snapshots and that will open that up 
and you can click on the various images or you can use the up and down arrow on your keyboard to flick through the various images and if you have a printer connected to this uh, computer you can actually print them from here or delete them which I might select a few by holding down the um, control or shift key I'll delete those files and exit now if you want to review some footage that you've downloaded so you've actually someone has downloaded it onto the local computer uh, you can do that by clicking on the search button here and then clicking on play local video that opens up what's called the local player so to play a video I simply double click on the video and that will start playing in this window here it tells me where it's playing from so in my case it's on my C drive under documents CCT folder video so that's the currently open folder where these files reside you can point it to another location for instance a USB stick or something like that or another drive you can do that from here now you can double click on it to make it full screen if you wish and double click to escape full screen or click on the escape key on the keyboard it will also exit full screen now you can toggle uh, and remove this uh, file browser pane if you like by clicking on this button here which gives you an expanded view with the controls to get the uh, browser back you click on any of this area here on the left this gray area will uh, return you to this section here now the new player does support keyboard shortcuts and these keyboard shortcuts are the spacebar to start and stop the video and the left and right arrow keys on the keyboard uh, the right arrow key is frame advanced and the left arrow key is uh, previous frame so if I click on the spacebar now start the video again stop the video and if I want to go back to the previous frames I'm clicking on the left arrow key and to advance the right arrow key and if I, and if I click on the plus again it starts playing forward now on some uh, devices it also supports uh, uh, reverse play it's not supported on all devices but if it does usually uh, click on the left arrow key and then hit the space bar to resume while, so while you were paused you hit on the left uh, arrow key and then hit space bar to reverse playback on some devices now you can also uh, export to AVI if you wish by right clicking on the uh, interface here uh, and selecting AVI convert and you simply browse to the file location and you select the, the file and by default it puts the same file in the same location if you're happy with that you click on convert and that's basically it, how you convert to uh, AVI okay I'll exit the local player and return to the normal playback screen now I'll just uh, show you another control here the frame advanced button this is the frame advanced button here so if I click on this that will uh, advance to the next frame now if I wanted to increase the speed at which the video is playing back I go down to the bottom right and I drag this uh, little icon here all the way to the right that will increase the uh, speed of the playback so that's fast forward and if I want to return to normal speed I would double click on this little icon here the little man icon and that will return me to normal speed and if I had audio this is where I control the volume of the audio if one of the cameras had audio I'd un unmute that and again to control the volume and just like uh, live view you can right click on the device list up, up here and say list camera only and that gives you a, uh, a full list without the device node and I should also put out the file list option up, up here uh, that gives us a list of files with associated time ranges of different types of recording the N is for normal recording M is for motion A is for alarm and T is for text overlay exceptions so I can double click on one of these files here and it will appear in the currently selected tile so if I click this tile here blue border appears around there so if I double click on there that time period segment file will start playing in there okay I'll just go into more detail now about the uh, playback interface so these are known as video tiles that the videos are appearing in you can close a video tile by right clicking on it and say close or you can close all of them 
and down here we have our all-important timeline each one of these uh, rows represents a camera and in its default unzoom state represents a 24-hour period now the different colors you see here represent different types of footage different types of recording I'll just zoom in and here okay the green the green is normal recording the red is motion activated recording and the white you hear is toe recording or text overlay exception recording usually from uh, POS point of sale devices but can also be from uh, time clocks or way bridges and if we had any alarm recordings they would be uh, represented by an orange looking color in the timeline now the blue indicator bar you see here that represents where the cameras are currently playing back at so that's the timeline position indicator bar the blue bars you see here now by default playback synchronization is on that's indicated by this button down here now what this means is freedom will attempt to play back each of these cameras you see here synchronized in time so playing back at the same time relative to each other now how well this works depends on how time synchronized each of your devices is um, so it is very important that each device be time synchronized to a single time uh, source okay there may be times when you want to play back uh, cameras at different times um, let's say one an hour ahead and one an hour behind or something like that uh, to do this you turn sync off so we go down to this button here and click it so sync is now off now let's say I wanted to select a different time for this camera here on the bottom left or bottom right I should say um, which is this camera here 400 watt so let's say I wanted to go to 10.35 I click just under here and as you see the timeline indicator indicates that this camera is playing back at this time where the other three are playing back at this time so that's how you can uh, control different cameras at different times if you don't want them time synchronized and I should mention too that can be helpful in this uh, situation let's say you want to pause a camera uh, you found uh, a particular time that you're interested in uh, if you untick control or video tiles what this means is all the buttons around here uh, will work for all the cameras so if I pause this camera here while it's ticked all the other cameras will be paused but if you untick it the selected tile which is the uh, one with the blue border around if I click on pause as you can see that is now stopped but the others are still streaming so that's a way you can isolate particular cameras that's what the control or video tiles means it means these controls are related to whether all of the cameras will be controlled or only the selected camera and as you see what I did before I zoomed in you can zoom in and out of the timeline using these buttons down here so I'll zoom back out and I can zoom back in if I want to move to the right or left I use these here controls here obviously move me to uh, either right or left okay I'll just go over the jump buttons that's these buttons over here now while you've got all selected uh, these are jump buttons if you had one of the other filters selected like motion alarm or tow um, these buttons will be next event and previous event so they do different things depending on what filter you've got selected now I have all selected down here so these buttons will act as jump buttons uh, so clicking them will get jump a certain amount of time and you select that time by right clicking over one of the buttons and just selecting what you want whether it be let's say five minutes so if we look up here I'll we'll click on that and it basically goes five minutes ahead if I go back it'll go around five minutes uh, previously so that's the uh, time jump button when the all filter is selected now the buttons down the bottom here are known as timeline filters they allow you to filter different types of recordings so I knew that type of recording is shown on the uh, timeline so I'll just show you here with motion so I'll select the motion filter now while you have got one of the uh, motion alarm or tow filters uh, activated you can use the uh, next and previous event buttons in freedom to easily move between different events and that's these buttons over here this is the next event and this is the previous event button which are applicable when you've got one of these filters uh, motion alarm or tow active so if I go to the next event it'll show me that, that motion event and again I can click again 
of an S to jump to the next motion event or I can go to the previous motion event just with one click using the uh, event previous or event uh, forward button and you can do the same thing for text overlay exceptions which uh, can be very hel helpful in uh, viewing different transactions so if I click on the toe button over here you see I've got a few toe events or text overlay exception events here so if I want to view the next one I can simply click there and use the buttons to go to the next transaction or I can go to the previous transaction by clicking the previous button over here again so that's a quick way to navigate different types of events now I'll just tell you a bit more about uh, emaps now each emap is comprised of what's known as hyperlinks there are two types of hyperlinks the camera hyperlinks in my case we've got the red camera number hyperlinks as you see here and you can also have the blue directional camera hyperlinks as you see here and in freedom you can actually create your own custom hyperlinks as well so you have that choice and each camera hyperlink has two states an on state and an off state when the camera is being displayed in one of the tiles uh, you will see a red uh, indication I'll just show you here see how they've changed to a reddish color indicating they are being displayed on one of the tiles and then we have the map hyperlink which is this button up here in my case so if I wanted to switch this is how you switch between different maps if you have more than one map on the site double click and you can double click again to get back you can also switch maps by right clicking over the interface and selecting switch map and this will open a uh, dialog box displaying any other maps uh, available on your site you can click on one of them, them and say OK and that will uh, switch to that map also okay just before I go uh, I'll just let you know there are other material and videos and uh, printable quick guides available at the freedomvms.com website so head on over there if you need any more uh, information uh, that's it for this video thanks for watching